Hello. Today I would like to show how we can easily collect and report on data from a PLC. So I have a PLC that I'm connected to and I can collect a couple of values from it and I'm sending the information once every one second. Um, so this is what the data looks like. There's a payload with the value and there's a topic with um, with the counter that I'm, I'm currently reading. Um, so if I want to graph that out inside Grafana, what I could do is I could add a update metrics. I could create a function node and I need to restructure this a little bit. So I need to create a counter. So I'm going to I just use that. So it's going to have a little bit of data in it, uh, but never mind that. So I'm going to create a counter called PLC and the value is going to be message.payload yeah message.payload and i need a label so i'm gonna use labels and now i can set labels as meter equals message.topic so if i run this now and with a little bit of luck. Okay, that didn't go well. Uh, oh. <laughs> Message payload. There we go. So what happens now is that this will now start creating um, it created a metric called PLC and we can now use meter as a label to differentiate on the different values and this will now be updated with the interval that the plc is sending data so if i go inside here and i select that i want to use prometheus and select plc and i can now set a label as meter so here As I said, I just tested it, so it does actually have a little bit of values. Yeah, so sometimes a restart helps. <laughs> um, so as you can see, I can now actually graph out all the values from the PLC inside Grafana. Um, so that's super handy, right? Um, but unless you are saving that either using Prometheus Persistent Store or Victoria Metric Persistent Store. And if you want to do more digging into the data, this might not be the ideal way of doing it. So inside MongoDB, we can use time series collections. So I created a time series collection called PLC. And inside that, I'm using underscore created as the time field, and I'm using meter as the meter field. That way, we will get a very efficient database usage. Um, and we will also be able to, yeah, you get it. So if we go in here and we use the add node, we can basically add something to the database. But before we do that, we want to format it a little bit. So I'm going to update message the payload. And we're going to say value is message the payload because that's what we defined in our time series collection and meter is going to be message that topic and since we changed where the value is we also need to update this to use the value um, next we need to make sure that we're inserting to our plc collection and that's it so what happens now is that if we go inside here you will be able to see that it actually starts adding an entry every one second. You might want to turn this down or up depending on your needs, but you know, this works for demo purposes. Um, so now if I go to Grafana, uh, I can select our PLC collection. Um, you have to type the name and when you tap the name you can select whatever name you want and now we are getting a count of all the entries that is inside the database the last five minutes so we're going to change that and say we want the average and we want the average over value 
So here is the average values of the elements inside the PLC collection. But we know that there are values from different meters. So to make this make more sense, we're going to be grouping by meter and use that as a label. And here are now the same values as we saw from OpenTelemetry and Prometheus. We now just get them from the time series collection. Um, I hope this was helpful and I hope this um, make you more interested in how we can use this as a database, a data collection platform from many different devices, not just, you know, APIs and robots, but it could also be IoT or industry IoT, like in this case, PLCs. I hope this.